a, quote, historic operation. That's what the Humane Society of the United States calls the rescue of 4,000 beagles from a Virginia business that bred them for experiments. Is the result of a Department of Justice lawsuit from May, which looked at uh, some egregious Animal Welfare Act um, allegations against the company in Vigo that showed things like um, puppies that were dying of cold exposure and uh, maggots that were in food, and then even some beagles who were killed instead of receiving basic veterinary care. The dogs were raised for sale to drug companies and medical researchers. Many were euthanized without receiving anesthesia. A court ordered Invigo to close its Cumberland facility and to permanently stop any activity at the site requiring a license under the Animal Welfare Act. Inspection reports by the U.S. Department of Agriculture dating to 2021 list dozens of examples of neglect, including untreated skin and ear infections, insects and mold in feeders, and feces on floors. The Cumberland site was the target of an undercover sting by the advocacy group People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA. PETA says its video, in part recorded with hidden cameras, and that VOA can't independently verify, shows dead puppies, nursing mothers begging for food, and dogs being sprayed with high-pressure water in their cages. It is disturbing and disappointing and frustrating to see the government continually identify these problems for nearly a year and apparently be content to let this company go on profiting quite handsomely um, off that type of conduct. USDA, which oversees animal research, and Inotiv, the company that last year acquired Invigo, declined to comment. The case, however, is shining light on the use of dogs in medical research. In 2019, USDA estimated that almost 65,000 dogs were held in labs or used in experiments nationwide. The majority of those are used to test pharmaceuticals or industrial chemicals. You're talking about dogs being held in laboratories, being confined in cages or kennels, deprived of everything that's natural to them. It's controversial. The Food and Drug Administration, which oversees drug research, told VOA it is committed to reducing studies using animals, but that in many areas, science requires them. The industry-backed group, Americans for Medical Progress, whose donors include Invigo, said that includes cancer and cardiovascular research. The group supports humane research, but still. Most animals in research, including dogs, are euthanized at the end of the study. And the reason for that is that tissues and, and looking at different systems at the cellular level is very important in able to get the data that we need. But do the dogs have to die? Scientists at Johns Hopkins University say it can be avoided. We can recreate human organs in tiny, tiny form. We can combine these organs to form little organisms. And um, we also have computational models available that we can model very, very important aspects of disease. Alternative methods are not always cheaper than animal experiments, but there's typically much more opportunity to scale them down and um, and, uh, and, uh, and make them really very affordable. Researchers say those alternatives, while promising, are in early development. Amanda Detmer is with Speaking of Research, a group that supports humane animal research. There is no requirement that a certain species be used. There are, however, worldwide ethical codes that explicitly state that animal uh, research and testing should come before human testing and research. And you know, these are codified in the Nuremberg Code and the Declaration of Helsinki. Speaking of research, condemned the treatment of dogs in the Invigo facility as, quote, egregious. Most animal research in the U.S. is on guinea pigs, hamsters, and rabbits. Dogs account for only 7 percent. Still, the Virginia case has energized a push in the U.S. Congress for stronger laws. The hope? that animals won't have to suffer again.
Verónica Valderas Iglesias, for VOA News, Alexandria, Virginia.